Okay, what we have here is the Lansing Community College ELT E261 Advanced PLC Capstone Project. Here is the automated work cell that the students uh, uh, assembled and programmed from scratch. Um, the students were given um, a robot, um, uh, the slotted rack, and um, a box of parts just like this, and then they had to come up uh, and put the whole system together and get it programmed. So it starts here with a uh, main power on, and what that's going to do is it's going to start getting the system all configured here. Um, the um, safety system will be brought online here with my reset button here. So I'm going to go ahead and reset that safety relay. Um, and so what this is going to do is it's going to sort blocks. We have a variety of blocks there, some with holes, some without holes, some metal, non-metal. Um, so what the students did is they were given a um, uh, 50, an L30R uh, Allen Bradley PLC straight out of the box. So they had to configure the communications and get it set up and program it. Um, all the AC is being switched here uh, on the on the rack. Um, over here on the on uh, this item we have our Ethernet IP remote I/O. Once again. Uh, new out of box. The students had to set up the con communications and get it configured and uh, all the DC is being switched on this item here. Um, the safety relay, new out of the box here, so the students had to uh, set uh, the application correctly and do the wiring and what the, this relay does is um, it will, um, when, it, when it's hit, it'll bring down the uh, conveyor starter and it will bring down the robot safety system and then it is monitored um, through the um, motor starter. And then right here we have a palm relay, which is um, wired here, and you can see it's a dual uh, start, double contact, so that in the manual mode, um, if both of these palm buttons are pressed, then it will operate into the manual mode. So once again, the students um, had to s configure it all, had to design the system, had to install everything, and then had to program it. So let's get ready to take a look at what this looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the system. Uh, we're gonna come over here and hit the auto button, which is gonna cause the conveyor to run. And for the first block to come out, the block is going to make um, a variety of sensors here to tell if it's got a hole or if it's metal. Um, and it will send a word to the robot and the, the robot then knows what kind of block it has and where it needs to be set down. So once again, this one's going to have a hole in it. And it's non-metal. The PLC cross talks to the robot and the robot cross talks to the PLC. So we have a really deliberate process here of one block at a time. Normally we would run a lot faster uh, processing multiple blocks, but we wanted to just uh, demonstrate the sorting so that everybody can understand what's going on. And we have one more block here. So we'll go ahead and put that in. It'll make the sensor. And we'll hit reset. And cycle start again. And this time what we'll do is we'll hit the e-stop to bring the safety relay down once the robot has picked it up. And you'll see that it will stop the robot. The robot is taking it where it's supposed to go. Oh, let's get out of the light curtain. And as it comes over there and we hit it, you can see that the robot has been brought down, the conveyor's been brought down, and the safety relay is indicating that it has been tripped here. So that's kind of the gist of the project. Uh, turned out really good. All right, good job, guys. All right. Nice job.